Hi friends, welcome to Commerce Bytes. Today we are going to see the methods of the research. We have discussed so many methods in the last video. Please check out if you are not watched that. Now let's move to the methods. The first one is experimental research. In experimental research, the relationship between two or more variables is tested by performing experiments involving manipulation of stimuli, environment or an independent variable. The relationship between the dependent and the independent variable is tested under controlled setting. Experimental research has been discussed. As independent variables are manipulated in the experiments and their effect on Dependent variable is observed under controlled condition to interpret the relationship. One of the most scientific research design. Moving to the next, that is historical research. It is a research conducted to examine the past events. No experiments can be performed in such a type of test. However, an attempt can be made to recreate the situation. Such studies are helpful to know about the historical background of the present day events. Steps in the historical research is very important, so please check out it. That is, first one is specifying the research problem, then review of literature, extracting information from the different resources and analyzing information to draw conclusion. Here primary data sources are persons who have witnessed or experienced the problem under study. Hypothesis is not required in the historical research. For example, research conducted to know about the development of the modern day education system in India. This is also an example. Without any delay, let's check out the next set of portions which we have to study. That is four types of scale, nominal scale, ordinal scale, interval scale and ratio scale. First, let's check on nominal scale. Nominal scale is used for variables which can be categorized, but it cannot be ranked. For example, blood groups of the respondents can have the response A, B, AB or O. Here the response can be categorized, but it cannot be ranked. Next one is ordinal scale, which is used for the variables which can be categorized as well as ranked. That is, where one choice is superior to another. So, this can be ranked on the basis of their level. It is usually used to measure non-numerical or qualitative concept like happiness, sad, satisfaction, level of pain and so on. For example, when we asked about the situation of the service, respondents can be replayed by choosing one of these. Very satisfied, satisfied, neutral, dissatisfied and very dissatisfied. Similarly, any statements can be have option disagree, strongly disagree, neither agree, nor disagree, agree and strongly agree. These are all examples. Interval scale is used for the variables involving quantity which can be categorized, ranked as well as it can be expressed in increment with non, measurable, consistent and equal intervals. These type of in variables include time, temperature, percentage of marks scored by the students. The last one is ratio scale which is used when the variables can be categorized, ranked and expressed in equal intervals and can have the absolute zero value. Please note, it, in ratio scale, we can have the absolute zero value. That is, it is having the starting point of the scale is taken as zero. Ratios can be calculated using this measurement. Variables like we say monthly views on the YouTube channel and can be expressed as this month we had thrice the number of views than the last month. I hope the different types of scales is all clear to you. These are the measures how to measure the variables. Now let's check out the different types of variables which we have to study. 
there are different types of variables such as continuous variable discrete variable dependent variable independent variable extraneous variable confronting variable categorical variable demographic variable active and attributed variables these are all the de um, different types of variables which we are going to study continuous variable from the word itself it's clear that it can be expressed continuously for example weight the next one is non continuous variable or discrete variable these are the variables which can only be expressed as a whole number like number of students next dependent variable it is the variable where the variable which is under the influence of the other variable or which is affected by the other variable of the system independent variable is not influenced by the other variable and it can stay it as independent independent variable it is a variable which do not influence the other extraneous variables are the variables which have an effect on dependent variable but are not part of system in the ex above example of sleeping hours the time taken to complete a task and there can be many other variables which affect the time taken to complete the task such as mood of the employee his willingness to complete it any other work he has his health etc are the factors because in this study we are to check the effect of the sleeping hours on working efficiency other variables have been excluded from the system so all these are extraneous variable the other factors which affect a work their effect is not considered in the study but they do affect the time taken to complete the task so their effect will be termed as experimental error all these omitted variables are included in error term in econometrics next one is confronting variables these are all also similar to extraneous variable as they are not part of the system but these differ in the extent of their influences these have stronger influences than extraneous variable the next one is categorical variable these are the variables have only a specified set of option for example the variables blood group have four options a b ab and o or eight options a positive a negative b positive b negative o positive o negative ab positive and ab negative variables with only two option are called dichotomous variable for example the variables like school enrollment if respondents is enrolled in a school can have the option yes or no similarly trichotomous variable will have three options such as for example employment status have three options employed self employed or unemployed next one is demographic variable these are the variables that are used for describing the samples and show that the sample is representatives of the population common demographic variable are genders age marital status income and occupation the last session is active variables and attributed variables active variables are those variables which have been changed and are controlled of a researcher for example monthly expenditure of a household on vegetables on the other hand attributed variables are those variables which cannot be changed and which are not under the control of researcher for example age gender of the respondents active and attributed variables are type of independent variable i hope the portion variables are clear to you let's move to the question question number 1 independent variables manipulated in experiments and their effect on dependent variable observed in which research options are 
ऑप्शन ए हिस्टोरिकल रिसर्च ऑप्शन बी एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च ऑप्शन सी क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च एंड ऑप्शन डी एनालिटिकल रिसर्च हियर द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च क्वेश्चन नंबर टू विच रिसर्च इज गिविंग मोर इम्पॉर्टेंस टू पास्ट इवेंट्स एंड हैविंग द क्रिटिसिजम ऑफ द डेटा ऑप्शन आर क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च ऑप्शन बी क्वान्टिटेटिव रिसर्च ऑप्शन सी एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च एंड ऑप्शन डी हिस्टोरिकल रिसर्च हियर द आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी हिस्टोरिकल रिसर्च बिकॉज इन हिस्टोरिकल रिसर्च ओनली वी आर टेकिंग कंसिडर कंसिडरिंग द पास्ट इवेंट्स एंड क्रिटिसिजम ऑफ द डेटा इज डन टाइप ऑफ स्केल इज हैविंग एब्सल्यूट जीरो वैल्यू एज द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑप्शन आर नोमिनल स्केल ordinal scale interval scale and ratio scale the answer is option d that is ratio scale in ratio scale only we are using when the variable having categorized ranked and expressed in equal intervals can have an absolute zero value that is starting point of the scale is taken as zero With this note we are concluding till my next video keep on preparing for your exam if you like this video please click on the like button and also please subscribe for more videos thank you